Coach B. Biffle, and please be buckled up tonight because we're starting a brand new series here at Whole Brain Teaching. Let me get my screen set up, and then we are going to go like a rocket. Here we go. Coming at you. The brand new series. And here's the screen. New series. This is program 546. And... What is this new series? It's WBT Common Core. Give me an oh yeah yeah. Common Core. You know what, my friends? Everybody's nervous about Common Core. If your state is not doing Common Core, you're going to still learn some great stuff tonight. 46 states are going to be heading Common Core. Here's the deal. We're going to start giving you electronic lessons. There's Dee Dee Rainbow and Jack Rainbow, two of the mind giants. She says, pop the PDF in your computer and let Coach B and the mind giants do the teaching for you. Let's just stop there for a minute. So completely new kind of broadcast. Very little for the teacher. This whole thing, I'm just going to show you the lesson. When it's over, you... Be able to download it and just let me teach your kids. A few words about Common Core. If you're tuning in, I know you probably have heard this before, but there are six shifts in Common Core. We want to increase reading of informational text, more complex text, build academic vocabulary, require text-based answers, Increase writing from sources, and no matter what we're doing, all content area is literacy instruction. If you're not familiar with Common Core, go read stuff by David Coleman, Chief Architect of Common Core Standards. And I welcome Sarah Meter, one of our rising stars who got here late. What does WBT say about the one big shift of Common Core. There's not six, it's just one. Students are going to have to reason much more carefully. From WBT's point of view, this means beginning by learning how to use one word central to all reasoning, but what is that word? All right, my friends, tell me what you think that word is. I'm going to take a drink here of California Clear. What's the word? Here's to you. Well, a lot of you are saying because. You know what? You're so close, you're right. A whole program on because. Here we go. Let's get the party started. Remember I said that uh, I was going to teach you. I am. Coach B with the big B on my shirt. Let's get started. And I dyed my hair green for you tonight, my friends, but everything else is a anatomically accurate portrait of your dear Coach B. Green for the new year. Check out the shoes. Do you like them? All right, here we go. Now, no, we don't go so fast. Listen. So you put the PDF in your computer and you say, all right, we're going to have a guest teacher today, taught for 40 years in college. I think you kids are ready for some college-level instruction. Tell your neighbors how excited you are to go to college today. Get them jacked up about going to college. Everybody with me. This is a college class by Coach B., College teacher with 40 years experience. Everybody knows how to do that. Kids love that kind of stuff. Now, here's, so, starting with this screen. Whole Brain College. 
Welcome to the college that takes students of all ages. Just show it to them and read it to them for a while. Next screen. My colleague, Professor Big Dilly, will help me today. So you see, my friends, what I'm doing is I'm designing a new kind of lesson, a cartoon lesson. You show a slide, have the kids teach each other what was on the slide. If you don't know the teach OK, look at our videos. All through this, just use the teach OK to go from one slide to another. Everybody got it. You understand what I'm saying? Cartoon lessons. All right, Sarah. Sarah, I'm intrigued at how much of the stuff you're going to be able to use. That's right, Cruz. All right, now. So it just starts this way. Check it out. I'll go back to the full screen. So I say, class, you know, you, you, you be my voice. They say, yes. Too slow, mighty groan. Hit them with a mark on the scoreboard. Can you dig that? Then you say, class. They say, yes. Then you say, good job, mighty oh yeah. Hit them with another mark on the scoreboard. Then I say, tell your neighbor how much fun it's going to be to have Coach B and Big Dilly give you a college-level lesson. You see how this is going to work? Now listen while Big Dilly tells you about today's topic. I'm going to stop for a second. So you see the new format. It's not going to be this piece. It's the PDF. Show it, read it, have the kids teach each other, bring them back with a class yes. All right, here's the lesson. Here we are in the classroom with Big Dilly. Today we're only going to learn about one word. Just one word. Oh, it's a very important word. You can be sure of that. When you learn how to use this special word really well, everyone will be impressed with how smart you are. Golly! You'll use this amazing word a lot in college. And then here comes Coach B. Tell your neighbor what Big Dilly taught you so far. Yes, my friends, tell your neighbor. Next piece of the lesson. Try to guess the word. Here's a hint. It ends with the letter E. You know what? There's a glitch right there. It should say it ends with the word. It does. It ends with the letter E. Tell me I'm still cool. I made a mistake when I thought I made a mistake. Tell your neighbor how super colossal excited you are to learn this word. And there's the word, because. Now this is a massive, my friends, this is going to be a massive multi-day lesson on because. Going from simpler to more complex reasoning tasks. And we use because across the curriculum. And that's the common core deal. We're all kind of teaching the same lesson about literacy, about reasoning, about orderly thought. Kindergarten on up. And these cartoon lessons are going to help us. Let's see how creative you already are in using the word because. Check this out. Working with your neighbor Fill in these blanks as many times as you can. Now you see what I'm doing here. I want the kids to do this orally. We'll do some writing later on, but we want lots and lots and lots of reps. 
So just let them talk. I like school because. I like peanut butter because. Over and over and over again. A good oral writing starter. You are right, Nancy. Let's come on back. Big Dilly says, Great job. Here's a prize for you. Oh, what's the prize? A wonderful prize, my friends. Because Clapper Gloves. You win a brand new pair of Because Clapper Gloves. Whenever you say because, clap your hands to share your excitement at using that wonderful word. Here is the Because Clapper. So you're playing along. It's not a lesson, it's a game. It's not school, it's a comic book. Broken up into little teach okay pieces. Here comes Coach B again. Show your neighbor your new Because Clapper gloves. And try them out. I love my new Because Clapper gloves because. I'm going to stop for a second. Are you digging this? Do you see how groovy it is? This is new. Not for you, but a lesson I make for you to deliver to your kids. And it's visual. And it's auditory. And it's physical. Why? It's a whole brain lesson. Super groovy, huh, Popcorn? Yupperoo, J. Cruz. 113, Alan, yes. All right, Pine Triella. Good, Sarah Meter. I see that you're still playing. Yes, won't it work for middle school so far, Square Root Teach? All right. Now, let's come back. Here's the screen. Now use your Because Clapper gloves with these blanks. Blank is fun because. Let's get more reps. How many times can you and your neighbor fill in three blanks? Use those Because Clapping gloves. So what you want to do here, model how to fill in some of the blanks. Sarah Meter, use your science examples here. Folks, use your content stuff here. Talk about a book. Talk about anything that you've covered. Nancy Stoltenberg, give me a read on how big our audience is once in a while. Here's the next one. Now a double because. Give me an oh yeah yeah. Use your because clapper gloves on a double because. I like soccer because I get to be with my friends and because it is good exercise. Let's just stop there for a second. A double because is the beginning of advanced reasoning. When you're doing advanced reasoning, you're not just giving one reason to support what you said, not just one because, but two, three, four. The kind of texts that we're going to be diving into with Common Core are advanced reasoning with lots of different becauses. Let's get our kids used to speaking this way. I like whole brain teaching because it keeps the kids active. Keeping the kids active, that's the reason that supports your big point. Everything after because is evidence. And guess what, my friends? Guess what, my friends? I'm taking the glasses off. You know this is an important point. I said everything after the because is evidence. Next webcast is going to be on what? Tell me, what's the next webcast on? I'm taking a drink. You're right. It's going to be on evidence, strong evidence, weak evidence, counter evidence. 
Tell me if you're excited to teach your kids about counter evidence. Yeah, baby. All right. So that's that's we're heading down the Common Core Road, which is the road to advanced reasoning. People have problems with Common Core. I don't, at least not yet. All right. So here's our next cartoon screen. When you make a double because, be sure each part is different. Don't repeat your becauses. That's a clinker. Here's a clinker. I like soccer because I get to be with my friends and because my pals and I spend time together. Let's talk about clinkers. We don't have any word in the language for overlapping evidence. That's a cute, fun word. So we're going to say clinker. Our clinker is our generic term for bad reasoning. Fallacies are one kind of clinker, but overlapping evidence is another kind of clinker. I like whole brain teaching because it's fun and it's entertaining. That's a clinker. I want you now to write some clinkers. The sentence frame is, I love blank because blank and blank. Write some clinkers. Overlapping pieces of evidence. We don't want overlapping pieces of evidence. Because we want those evidences to be able to be developed into a paragraph. Give me some overlapping evidence. Give me some clinkers right now. Hurry up. I like Maine because it's cold and never warm. Good. And it's creamy. Good. Rain is liquid because it's wet. Give me a... And... Give me a double because. Tastes good and I like the flavor. All right, everybody got it. Our kids, if left alone, do not understand. First of all, you don't understand how to give a because and then a double because. But when they understand that, they've advanced down the road the common core road towards more complex intellection. How do you like that new piece of vocabulary? Now, let's have some... Now this is the digital equivalent of worksheets. Which is the clinker? California is a great state because you can take a vacation in the mountains or at the beach. California is a great state because you can take a vacation at the beach or play in the waves. Write down the number of the clinker. Which one's the clinker, my friends? There's an interactive webcast. Blizzard, you're not far off. Good. Let's see how good you are at Whole Brain College. Here's my next question for you. Everyone should go to college because you can make more money when you graduate and you'll meet lots of new exciting people. Everyone should go to college because you'll meet new friends and lots of new exciting people. What's the clinker? Ah, oh, my friends. You might get out early today. Let's keep going. The Internet is a great source of information because you can find out the news and what decisions the president has made. The Internet is a great source of information because you can find out the news about politics and sports. Which is the clinker, five or six? Five is the clinker, square root teach. The news and decisions of the president, that's the same bag. Here's my next one. Teachers should be patient because not every child learns the same way and because all children are different. Teachers should be patient because some children learn more quickly and other children learn more slowly. What's the clinker? You've got it, my friends. Now just tell me this. Do you ever have any place in instruction where you're talking about Overlapping evidence. And isn't that central to reasoning? This opens up a whole new world for our kids. 
they're going to have to write persuasive essays. Each paragraph of the body is a separate reason. If they don't understand clinkers, they're messed up forever until they get to my class in college and then I don't have much sympathy for them. All right, here's my next screen. Teach your neighbor about clinkers. So now we come in and we use the cartoon format and kids are teaching each other about clinkers. Let's have some more sentence frame. Try lots of double becauses and no clinkers. I like blank because blank and blank. Write me a double because, no clinkers, go. Double because, no clinkers. Fill in that sentence frame. The pictures for the rules are on the website in the store. Write me a double because, no clinkers, go. I can exercise and not sweat. Good. Healthy choice. Good. Give me a few more. Help each other out. That's right. Yes. Excellent. That's what you're doing in classes. You're giving, you're modeling them. All right. How many times can you fool these in? Double because. There it is. All right. Now, pay attention, my friends. Are you ready for the ultimate challenge of... Well, let's just see how perceptive you are. What is the ultimate challenge, my friends? In terms of this lesson structure, what's coming next? Carla Ann, you win... A digital ten finger woo. I hope you enjoy it. A triple because. Yes. Good job, my interactive friends. So now we're leading them. This is probably, I think I'm three days into the lesson now. Tell your neighbor how super colossal excited you are to try a triple because. And here comes Coach B, the college teacher. Now tell your neighbor how excited you are to be going to whole brain college and learning crazy stuff like triple becauses. All right. Now let's look at these for triple. Tell me where the clinker is. Look at one and two. Swimming is good exercise because it builds your muscles, makes you stronger, and is relaxing. Swimming is good exercise because it builds your muscles, develops your lungs, and is relaxing. Which is the clinker, one or two? Folks, you're not just copying each other now, are you? Blizzard, you are forgiven. Blizzard, you're still cool. Let's look at three and four. We should read more books because we can learn about science, art, and religion. We should read more books because we can learn about different countries, people, and nations. Where's the clinker? Three or four? You've got it. What are the two overlapping words in four? What are the two overlapping words in four that make it a clinker? Tell me. Countries and nations. Well, this is a great class tonight. Let's look at five and six. Cats are great pets because they're smart, loving, and independent. Cats are great pets because they're smart, loving, and intelligent. Where is the clinker? Five or six. What are the overlapping clinker words? Yes. Stop for a second. Does everybody see how you're going to teach this in class? You see how it just rolls along, nicely scaffolded, lots of interaction, lots of practice. Cruz, can you use this with your older kids? Meter, sir, meter, I want to hear from you. 
Can you use this, Sarah, with your middle school kids? Waiting here from Sarah Meter, one of my rising stars. You can use this in seventh grade English. All right. Sarah, yes. All right, super, Sarah. Glad to hear that. Carmen, do you see that this is going to work with your middle school kids down there in Louisiana? Carmen, are you loving it? Lynn, you got some Aussie kids who can use this? Yes, it is the start for the persuasive essay. Kathy, can you use it in high school? I could use it in college. All right, let's go to the next screen. Here's a couple more. The governor's job is important because she helps make laws, builds the state's education system, and plans for the future. The government's job, governor's job is important because she helps make laws, builds the state's education system, and plans for the future. You know what? Did I repeat the same one twice there? Tell me, Coach B, you're still cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, throw that one at him and ask him, ask him, ask him which one. It, ask him to talk about the differences between those two. I'm going to fix it right now. Governor's job is because she helps make laws, builds the state's education system, and plans for better schools. Oh, yeah. Oh, fooly Uncle Louie, you are right. Being a coach is hard because you have to keep parents, players, and referees happy. Being a coach is hard because you have to keep parents, players, and kids on your team happy. Oh, yeah, which of those is the clinker, 9 or 10? You're right. What are the overlapping clinker words? All right, so let's stop. So have your kids rewrite the clinkers or re-speak the clinkers. Here's our next practice. Notice there's a lot of repetitions here. In other words, not there's a lot of reps here, a lot of practice. Now here is a triple because. How many can you and your neighbor create? Good luck, my friends. I'm going to give you a whole minute here. I like blank because blank blank and blank, triple because. Go. I think activates my thinking and improves my memory is like pretty close to an overlap there, my Yule. Make them even more different. Because remember, this is the beginning of persuasive essay. Make money, have friends, and love my students. Conch Girl 55, you get a digital 10 finger woo. Science, math, and social studies, Nancy, that's why they call you the Desert Dynamo. Yes. Very, very good. Okay, here we go. Next one, my friends. So blank is blank because... Now, here's what's hard about this one. We've just been saying giving us three reasons. But now, something is something, and then three reasons for that secondary something. That's a little more advanced. Give it a whirl. Here it is. Blank is blank because, blank, blank, and blank. Triple because, five blanks to fill in. And the fish, very good, conch girl. These are all triple golds. But they're triple gold with the reasoning component. That's good, Carlsbad. Lola Lori, excellent job. 
You kids, keep this up. You might get to play mind soccer. Now let's try something different. Adding more sentences to your because statement. Do you see where this is going, my friends? Let's add sentences. In other words, let's review. We started with because, double becauses, clinkers, triple becauses. Now let's make some paragraphs. Here we go. Let's give them some examples. Students should go to college because the more you learn, the more you enjoy life. When you study science, you can appreciate the wonders of nature. Math classes can make you feel like a genius with numbers. Taking an art class really helps you enjoy a trip to the museum. Those are sentences that show you why it's good to go to college. So a couple samples. Here's another sample. Soccer is a great game because you're constantly moving. I have to have stuff about moving now. If you're on offense or defense, you have to keep running. Everything has to be about moving. There are no timeouts, so the action never stops. In baseball, you often stand still, but if you don't keep moving in soccer, your team might lose. You see this, my friends? Now here, please, tell me you're sitting down. I don't want you doing yoga or doing the boogaloo while you're watching this because it gets even better. Let's have some visuals for paragraph construction. Here we are. How do you like that visual? So keep going until your teacher says time's up. The bus is blank because blank. Give him something visual to write about. Give me an oh yeah yeah. So add one sentence. Add two to four sentences. At college level, add way more than four sentences. Keep going till your Teacher says, stop. Jeff Battle, it's about time you're here. We locked the door, but I noticed you crawled in the window. Jeff, I need to know about how this works at middle school. This is still oral writing, yes. But you could translate it into writing writing. Good, good to hear that, Jeff. Here's the next one. I would like to travel to blank because blank. Add one sentence. Add two to four sentences. Add way more than four sentences. You with me? Give them the visuals to write about. Thank you, Jeff. Playgrounds are blank because blank. I'm just going to go through these now. Dogs are blank because blank. Kids will love this one. If I had all this money, I would blank because blank. Tell me how much your kids would love to write about this one. Yes, they'd love it. Yes, Carla Ann. Here you go. Here's the next one. Living in this house, I would blank because blank. You see this? All the visuals are integrated. It all looks like the same. A big comic book. One of my favorite books is blank because blank. A major problem in our cities is blank because blank. Now, you see the flexibility of this exercise. It can be fantasy stuff. It can be real world stuff about things they know about dogs. Or let's think about cities.
Here's the next one. Our president should blank because blank. This is a great one. This is a civics discussion. Police should blank because blank. I'd like to hear what Jay Cruz's kids would say about this one. I'd like to hear what Carmen, Carmen's kids down in Louisiana would say about this one. Let's keep going. That's right, Cruz. Let, let him write about it. Here's the deal, my friends. We want kids to write and think about important stuff besides Mr. Tweedledee and Mr. Tweedledum. Let's let them write about the police. Let's let them write about cities. And we're going to be introducing more of this kind of real-world writing. If you don't like it, don't show the slide. Just pretend like you liked it. So really, I think we've got about a week's worth of lessons here. Wait, let's just stop for a second. This is the beauty of having a bunch of teachers as an audience. How long is it going to take you to get this far in this lesson? I'm seeing maybe five days. What do you think? How long? A week, yeah. And tell me, tell us what grade you're at. How long? What grade? All right, Sarah. Sure. Four to five days. That's right, Busley. Two weeks in kindergarten. Yeah. Good, Kate. This is what I love about these lessons is, is that you can use them at all levels. All right, let's keep going. You could actually do this. This one is one day right here. Police should blank because blank. This is one day. The president should blank because blank. That's a day. Computers are blank because blank. A major problem with computers is blank because blank. Let's write about computers and social media. We could write about Facebook or YouTube. Two more challenges left, but they are doozies. Tell your neighbor that you love doozies. Here it is. Look at this. Now I want you to I want you to write pick a subject and add as many sentences as you can. So movie stars or teachers or parents or famous writers or teenagers or sports superstars or schools or rich people should blank because blank. Go ahead. Cloning is blank because blank. Great, Jeff. Write a couple of these. Jeff, you, you and Sarah Mead need to be talking a lot more. Give me one of these, my friends. Very good. Very good. Now here's the doozy of the doozies. The doozy of the doozy. Tell your neighbors, here comes the doozy of the doozies. Now check this out. Here's a structure your kids never... I'm going to stop it right now. I'm going to show you a sentence structure, which I believe almost no kids use, 
But now they can use it, and it's much more sophisticated. Check out this structure. Look at it. Because blank, blank should blank. Same thing, but now let's start with a dependent clause. You see that? Because blank, blank should blank. Give me a couple of those. Flip the sentence. You're right, Kate. Come on, Roxanne. You can do it. All right, conch girl. So we got a thing with the pythons in the Everglades, huh? That's intriguing. Good, Blizzard. Excellent. All right. Now, with a big turn and giant gestures, tell your neighbors everything you've learned about because, because, clapper, gloves, clinkers, adding sentences, everything. And that's it, my friends. So if you want the PDF, it's going to cost you a whopping $5.46. So let's just see how we do that. Here we are at Whole Brain Teaching. You go up here to PayPal. $5.46, and I send you, Roxanne, you did great, and I send you the PDF of this lesson. And you're going to get a certificate that you can use for your professional development credit. Two-sided certificate. Now, Coming soon, Common Core Evidence. Explore WBT's highly colorful, zingy and zany lesson for this all-important Common Core topic. Let me do the teaching. Here's the, here's the problem. This slide, this program, because there's so many graphics in it, a lot of them hand-drawn, my friends. Hand-drawn by dear Coach B, who doesn't draw too good. It took a long time. So I'm not guaranteeing that I can do these once a week. I did seven hours, okay, six hours and 59 minutes today, just trying to put this thing together. So we'll let you know when the next one's coming. I'll try to make next Tuesday, but I'll put a note up. You'll know in advance. So these are now specials, but they're all going to be the same. Lessons that you can teach your kids that feed into the Common Core Highway. So, if you want an on-site seminar, some of you do, send me an email, chrisbiffle at wholebrainteaching.com. Chris Bivel, wholebrainteaching.com. So we're going to talk about evidence. We're going to get kids to write compound, complex sentences, quoting from text. All that's coming up at you. These are specials. Make it happen. Get your administrator to send me an email. And here's what we say, my friends. We got to make learning fun. Make learning fun. All right, brothers and sisters, I, I and my family deeply appreciate your prayers. We ask you to continue to pray for us. We thank you so much for your concern. It is so warming to myself and my family for you to be praying for us. We are lifted up by your concerns. And so until next time, my friends, Coach B signing off. 
power to the teachers. Let us know where you're from right now. Let the names and places, let the places roll down. Yes, it's 546. Let the places roll down the screen. Where are you from, my friends? Nebraska, Florida, New Jersey, Washington, D.C., Carmel, Leesburg, Wilson, Kansas, Maine, Louisiana, Ohio, Temple, Iowa, Syracuse, Fairfax. Ah, oh, that's great. All right, until next time, my friends, power to the teachers.